Praise the Lord, everyone. This is Pastor Rodney coming to you again with just a brief little um, congratulations and celebration of Mother's Day. And just really want to give honor unto all the mothers out there, those of you mothers who are handling your business and taking care of your families, uh, taking care of your children, um, even those single mothers out there that are just doing whatever it takes, you know, whether it be you're working two jobs, you know, going to school and, you know, just really taking care of the kids, taking them to after school programs, you know, to their sporting events and just all the things that you have done. And so I just want to say happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. But, you know, I want to talk to you in reference to that. I want to talk to you about loneliness, you know, because there are so many, not only mothers, but men out there that are just lonely, you know, going through loneliness and you find yourself feeling like, you know, there's nothing for you. You know, the word of God says that, you know, Adam, you know, when God gave him the job of naming the animals, um, that he saw that with each animal, each animal had their own mate and he found that there was no mate for him. And sometimes we find ourselves in a situation where we say, you know, we see everybody else getting married. We see everybody else getting involved with relationships. We see everybody else going out and we we start to wonder like, where's the one for me? Where's the one for me? And it's important to know that God understands what you feel. And oftentimes what God is doing in those moments where you may feel alone, it's not really that you're alone, but it's really that God is trying to prepare you for something greater. And so you should take this time to really enjoy the moment, enjoy what you have, the freedoms of what you have right now. Because, you know, oftentimes I've counseled individuals who were desperately trying to hook up in relationships. And then when they hook up relationships, they're frustrated because they don't have any time to themselves. And so, you know, truly as humans, we're really never satisfied. But it's important to know that God says, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. He says, and I won't leave you comfortless. And so it's important to know that even in the midst of being single, you don't have to be alone, but you can engage yourself in relationships with other people. Even in reference to Mother's Day, you know, there's some of you out there that if your mother has passed or grandmother has passed that, you know, Mother's Day presents a time of depression, a time of frustration. When you see everybody else going out and you say, well, I don't want to go out. But I'm here to tell you that God says that many more are the family of God. So what happens is that if we lose um, our natural mothers or our natural fathers, there are many mothers in the church that you can bless and that you can pour into and say, Mother, I just want to honor you on this day because love is something that never ends. And I think it is honorable to give honor unto all mothers. So no matter where you are, if you're feeling down, if you're feeling depressed or discouraged, Know this, one, you're not alone because God says I'll never leave you. Number two, know this, that just like you have need, there are others that have need. Do you remember Christ on the cross? Christ on the cross, when he looked down and he saw Mary, his mother, and he saw John, his brother, standing there, and he says, woman, behold your son, and son, behold your mother. So that means that even in the midst of crises, even in the midst of you know, loss or whatever the case may be, God always provides another to to comfort you during those times, to be there for you during those times. So don't don't um, uh, uh, um, make yourself you know secluded from from uh, people. Don't get into a dark room. Don't get frustrated. Don't isolate yourself. No, but ask God, Lord, show me someone who I can bless during this time because the scripture says give and it shall be given unto you pressed down shaking together and running over shall men heap into your bosom so it's important to know that in the same measure that you give in the same measure if you don't want to feel alone then don't be alone if the scripture says that he who wants friends must first show himself friendly so just like you may have lost someone in your life maybe you lost a mother guess what there's a mother who lost a son or there's a mother who lost a daughter why don't you be that daughter for them and they will be that mother for you why don't you be that son for them and they will be that mother or that father for you I'm here to tell you that even if you've lost loved ones in relationships or maybe a relationship has failed 
or it has you know been destroyed guess what you can pour into other people because in the same manner what you sow you're going to reap and so it's important to know that as people of God we have to shift our thinking and not just think about ourselves but we must increase our love to think about others so God bless you but happy Mother's Day to all of you mothers out there God bless you may the Lord richly shine upon you and give you peace God bless